Hello guys, it's Hannah. How is everyone doing? So I'm having a four day long weekend ahead of me with nowhere to go but it is definitely a much needed break for all of us so let's get to it Before I get on with my long weekend I just thought that I would sit down and kind of give you guys an overview of what's been happening here in Ho Chi Minh City. So basically we've been in strict lockdown for like three months now. In the beginning, we can still like order takeouts, get deliveries and things like that. But for the past like two months, it's just strictly essentials. So like rice, meat, egg, veggies. So that has been going on for a while now, but there are still thousands of new cases every day. We have doctors and nurses and even med school students from other cities coming to Ho Chi Minh City to kind of help an overwhelmed system. So overall, the situation has been really, really difficult for everyone. However, things are looking up, I think. Most districts have at least like 80 to 100% of the people who had at least one dose of vaccination. So I think we're definitely on track to kind of reopen somewhat during October, even though not fully, of course. But yeah, I absolutely can't wait until that day and I really hope that you, your family and your friends are staying healthy and sane during this difficult time. Leaving you in pain And I'm trying to get them out your brain For now cause I Wonder if you spent the winter all alone But I'm not one of your exes Check my message in your phone I'm not trying to be friends with your dial tone I just want you to pull up into my crib I won't let the others in or tell them anything we did We can keep a secret, babe, I'm good at it Yeah, yeah, yeah I know those guys left Good morning, it's a beautiful weather today Like, let me show you guys Sadly, I'm gonna have to work today during a national holiday, but this is kind of a big project for us. And you know, it's also a privilege to get a new project during the pandemic. So just gotta be a team player here. So I'm gonna spend this afternoon trying to really focus and get this shit done. <laughs>
So I was staying up late last night, binge watching this Korean series on Netflix called DP. And I think it might be my new favorite. Basically, the series is about like this young man who escaped from the mandatory army enlistment in Korea. If you're not familiar, like, it's a very serious thing. So there's this team called DP who would be sent outside of their army base to kind of catch these guys. At first, I totally thought that it was going to be a comedy, but it turned out to be pretty heavy. I mean, it was still comedic at times, but they touch on a variety of issues, especially bullies in the army, which is horrible. The visual was also really cinematic. Love the color of the whole series. I just wish that there would be more than just six episodes. It's been a while since I found a Korean series that I really like. I'm sorry, but even hospital playlist or prison playbook, like I don't know why, but I just can't get past episode five. So if you have any good K-drama recommendations, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'm taking a break from editing the vlog and I figured that I would sit down and have a little chat with you guys about pandemic stress. But I have been living in the state of social distancing, lockdown, whatever you call it, for about a year and a half now. So my experience was last year in the beginning, people were like optimistic, you know, like now that I finally have the time to do whatever that I want to do but didn't have time to. So people were like baking banana bread, making Dalona coffee, and you know, those TikTok virus stuff. And I did too for like a couple of weeks, but then it kind of just went away and everybody got tired. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. So luckily I have always been able to sustain my job and you know, pay my bills, put a roof over my head, have money for food and stuff. But seeing what has unfolded in Saigon lately, it's definitely heartbreaking. Like you guys probably know about it. There are stories all over the internet about individuals and families who are in serious jeopardy. You get this sense of feeling helpless and also guilty because you might have a more more comfortable life than many but then I realized that everyone goes through things differently everyone has a different experience and just because someone is suffering through worse things than you do doesn't mean that your feelings are invalid personally I think that you can only take care of others when you take care of yourself first and acknowledging what you're feeling your stress it's you know a part of it and together we'll get over this soon enough bye